Hello student once again i welcome you all on this all in one channel i hope all of you are following the government guidelines to protect yourself from the corona infection as all of you know the guidelines given as maintaining the social distancing and not to go outside the home so i hope you all follow that and uh, give the example of responsible citizen of our country last time we have studied and they implemented syntax analyzer to validate type and the syntax of variable using yak tool that is the yacc tool yacc stands for the yet another compiler compiler let me brief you once again what exactly the compiler is so number of times we have studied it is a system program which is used to convert the higher level language to the lower level language so all of you know that there are the higher level language like the c c++ java etc and compiler convert these into the lower level language like the machine language so we have already studied there are the number of phases compiler works into the different stages which is being referred as phases of the compiler so basically there are the five phases which already we have studied like lexical analysis syntax analysis semantic analysis code optimization and the finally the code generation so in regards to the system programming practicals specifically related to the group b we are just having the uh, two phases of compiler to implement in that first is nothing but the lexical analysis and second is the syntax analysis Now to implement that phases, that is the lexical analysis phase, the tool which is being provided by the Unix is the Lex tool, which is already we have used and implemented the program of lexical analyzer. And second tool is the Yak, on which we are working. And last time already I have shown you uh, already two programs we have done on that. First is a uh, uh, implementing the Calc, and the second. Uh, all these to validate the type and syntax of variable. Okay. So uh, this uh, before you do the implementation, you have to install these two tools and installation command for this. You can use uh, in order to install the Lex, you can use the sudo apt-get install flex. This is the command to install the Lex tool. And if you want to install the yak, this is the command for the installation. Sudo apt-get install. Uh, sorry, here it's a bison. Okay, and uh, so already uh, theoretical part we have discussed what exactly the lexical analysis is. The first phase of compiler, which is being also called as the scanner, because it scan your program and try to recognize the tokens. Okay, so for that purpose, uh, when you uh, writing the lexical analyzer program, that is the lex specification, you are using some rules. Okay. and that rule in order to write that rules you are making the utilization of the regular expression okay that program already we have seen okay i will also upload the one uh, basic program of how uh, implementation of uh, lexical analyzer uh, how we are writing the lex specification to implement the uh, recognition of tokens okay so using the rules uh, that rules are being formed with the help of the regular expression for example now as i said the lexical analyzer used for the purpose of token recognition now what exactly the token is so the token are nothing but the some entity with some valid meaning means what exactly it is for example if in the higher level language you mention int x comma y comma z semicolon so here so this int is the one token x is the one token y is the z is the another token semicolon is the one token comma these are the also tokens so so tokens are being categorize as here int is the what is the category of this int keyword x variable y variable z variable this semicolon it is the delimiter okay so to divide your program into this various tokens so tokenization of your source program is done by whom lexical analyzer understood so that's why here it is been said that it is being utilized for the purpose of token recognition okay so when you when you compile your higher level language program it is first in the first stage its tokenization happens from the compiler and accordingly you receive the 
message if there is any kind of error so if if while mentioning the uh, identifier or the variable if you don't follow follow this rule what exactly this rule says now this is the rule for variable what it says the variable must start with the letter okay at least one letter or more letter and after that letter it might be followed by the letter also or the digit also understood so this is the rule understood so accordingly your lexical analyzer works the first phase of compiler then we are in the second phase that is the syntax analysis phase okay so syntax analysis phase it is also called as the parser also now to implement these we are making the utilization of yacc2 that is the yak okay so its role is what to check the syntax okay to check the syntax uh, whatever the uh, source program you write in that source program whether you have followed the syntactical rules or not so this this is being uh, checked against some grammatical rules the grammatical rules of the context free grammar okay and that that we are study last already we have two we have done the two programs on that okay so i hope the concept is being clear to you okay and now we are seeing the last program of the <coughs> group b that is the uh, that last program is nothing but uh implementation of implementation of syntax analyzer or writing the writing the program using the yak specification to implement syntax analysis phase of compiler to identify type of sentence enter by the user now type of the sentence enter by the user in the sense whether sentence is the simple sentence or it is the compound sentence okay so that in order to identify that we have to write the yak specification okay so already last time also i told you in order to implement the second phase of compiler we have to take the help of the first phase of compiler also that is nothing but the lexical analyzer okay now before we move forward to the actual implementation part first you need to understand in the english language what what exactly is the simple sentence and what exactly is the compiled sent uh, compound sentence okay so in uh, simple sentence now in you know, order to understand this uh, you must uh, have the some basic knowledge of the english language grammar so simple sentence like uh, if i say he is student so this is nothing but the simple sentence in the english language and compound sentence compound sentence in the english language like suppose i write uh, if i say uh, he is student and she is teacher okay now this is called as the compound sentence and this is called as a simple sentence so you can uh, easily recognize the difference here he, this this particular one statement and this another statement i have i have connected with some conjunction okay now this and is called as a conjunction in the english language so if this is being done if two statements are being connected by some conjunction then that comes under the category of which statement sentence compound sentence so so for that purpose we have we have to write the yak specification okay so so for that purpose we need to take the uh, help of the two uh, first is the lexical analyzer program and second is the syntax analyzer okay let's see what exactly we have done uh, in the lexical analyzer so this is the lex program to recognize the tokens and return to the yak that is a to the syntax analyzer so already you know the lex program as well as the yak program consists of the three section okay first is the declaration section here i have declared the header files and i have mentioned the y dot tab dot h last time also i told you this y dot tab dot h contain the tokens which are not defined here or not declare here but utilize here okay so the tokens now where actually then it is being defined or the declare so that is being defined or declare in the syntax analyzer okay so when you compile the syntax analyzer this tokens information being contained by the file y dot tab dot h 
okay and that's why we have mentioned here in the lexical analyzer y dot tab dot h so that lexical analyzer should know what is ex what exactly the tokens are being defined in the syntax analyzer okay so that's why this file has to be mentioned here when this file get generated when you compile this program which program syntax analyzer program understood when you compile this already last time i told you it generates the two files y y dot tab dot c and another y dot tab dot h so that y dot tab dot h contain the information related with the tokens which are defined in the syntax analyzer and being utilized in the being utilized in the lexical analyzer okay so here you can see we have defined these tokens are being these are being utilized in the you can see the translation rule section of the lexical analyzer okay now so this middle part between the rule section this is our rule section and this is your declaration section okay so this middle part here in the middle part you can you can define you can define the regular definition you can mention the regular definition understood and so here just uh, i have made changes in the previous form of the program and i have mentioned here the regular definition of various things being utilized in the english language like let's see so in the english language all of you know the verb verb is are nothing but is am are was were have has been been like this these things come under the category of what verb what is the adverb adverb so adverb like simply gently calmly etc understood conjunctions are like if then and but or these are come under the a uh, conjunction adjective now adjective come under the category of so in the adjective different things comes are like their my yours his her likewise okay and uh, again the noun so noun now in case of the noun anything anything which comes or which being followed which will come under this rule that everything being considered as a noun okay so you know to under you know to understand this uh, i am i am assuming that uh, you are having you all are having the knowledge of uh, english uh, grammar some sort of basic knowledge understood so for you are uh, understanding purpose let me tell you uh, what is the meaning of verb the kriya pad okay adverb adverb is the kriya visheshan conjunction which connect the different things together statement together adjective visheshan pronoun sarvanam noun naam okay i hope you have got the idea now now for all these things we have written here the regular definition okay and now this kind of uh, program already uh, this kind of uh, uh, way of writing the program also we have seen in the lexical analyzer also now now in the rule section we are just referring the name this definition that we have mentioned here now instead of mentioning the uh, uh, rule like this okay uh, you can write this rule in this way also okay in this way also you can write this rule the meaning is same okay in order to just to uh, tell you the another way of writing the program i have just this make changes that is you can mention the regular definition here and you can uh, uh, you can you can uh, you can uh, refer that name of regular definition here uh, in the rule section okay i will show you the result will come same okay i will show you that Uh, when you uh, implement the program okay so here you have mentioned the regular definition definition of different uh, things which is in part of our english language okay and here is the rule as i said as you have defined here you have to just mention the name of that defined things so here verb so verb adverb conjunction adjective pronoun noun and slash now here whenever you enter the input when you give the some input sentence as a input first thing that happen will 
that input will try to match with this definition okay and then if it is if it is match with this definition then from the rule section it will return whatever the things that will get match so we will see that with the example now let just understand here we have mentioned the definition of different things and here we have just refer its name and just we are returning it to the now to whom we are returning this uh, different uh, what you can see the tokens now this this all comes under the category of tokens okay and to this we have just given the different names okay so to whom it is returning this token it is returning these tokens like verb adverb conjunction adjective pronoun noun etc to whom to the syntax analyzer okay so this is the lexical analyzer program we'll see that with the example also and now just uh, uh, see what exactly is there uh, in the second program that is the syntax analyzer program okay now see in the syntax analyzer also uh, the yak program also we have first part there is a declaration section here we have declared the yy lex function yy error function because as i said in the in the lexical analyzer program here third part that we used to write the more, uh, auxiliary function we have not called here the yy lex function because syntax analyzer called the uh, lexical analyzer that's why we have just declare it here and this is the another function yy error function that already last time i told you if the input that you enter is not following the rules rules that here you have write if it is not following these rules then it will automatically call this function and it will display the message invalid string as a syntax error okay so this is the declaration section okay then here we have defined some tokens as i explain you like verb adverb conjunction adjective pronoun noun okay and then comes to this is our translation rule section to identify the sentence okay so see here what exactly we have mentioned in the uh, rule section so as i told you uh, in the translation rule section we are writing the grammatical rules for which there is a left hand side and the right hand side so sentence can be a simple sentence okay or sentence can be a compound sentence yes clear now what is the simple sentence so simple sentence is nothing but like subject verb object you must i told you you must have the basic knowledge of english how the statement forms subject verb object for example subject he if i say the statement he is a student so he is the subject is is the verb and student is the object understood so here see how what is the rule of simple sentence rule of the simple sentence is what subject followed by the verb followed by the object that's it now what is the compound sentence is okay so compound sentence is nothing but simple sentence then some conjunction again there can be a simple sentence yes like as i said he is a student and he is a student is a simple sentence and is the conjunction and second sentence c is a teacher so this come under the category of compound sentence so another uh, there can be another uh, way of writing the compound sentence also so here i have write compound sentence can be a simple sentence conjunction simple sentence or compound sentence can be a compound sentence conjunction simple sentence or compound sentence can be a subject conjunction and the simple sentence yes so these are the various form of compound sentence okay i will tell you with the example now what is the subject subject is subject can be a noun pronoun or it can be a adjective yes now what is the verb verb can be a adverb or it can be a simple verb now what is the object object can be a noun or object can be a adjective understood so this is nothing but our rule section understood i hope you have got it let me tell you once again sentence can be a simple sentence or the compound sentence then what exactly the simple sentence is simple sentence is nothing but subject 
verb object what is the compound sentence is compound sentence is the simple sentence conjunction simple sentence or compound sentence can be a compound sentence conjunction simple sentence or compound sentence can be a subject conjunction simple sentence now what is the subject 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 can be a noun subject can be a pronoun subject can be a adjective what is the o verb verb can be adverb verb can be a verb object can be a noun object can be a adjective so this is nothing but the translation rule section now come to the auxiliary function that is the here we are just asking the user to enter the sentence then uh, to the next line and here we are calling the yy first yy parse function now what exactly role of this function this function call the lexical analyzer and then lexical analyzer does what lexical analyzer that is this program from here first yy parse parse function call the lexical analyzer that is this program now this program recognize the token and send it to the syntax analyzer then yy parse function combine combine these all the tokens together and try to match them with these rules understood and here the yy error function so if the user input or user sentence which is being entered by the user it doesn't match with these rules then automatically yy error function will get call and it will display the message invalid string that is there is a syntactical error is there understood so that is the explanation of the program let's see the implementation part okay let's see the how to implement this now the implementation part okay now in the implementation part let's see all of you know the command first compile the lexical analyzer program okay as i said when you come compile the lexical analyzer program use a lex tool what file it generates lex.yy.c so you can see that file here lex.yy.c where, where it is yes here it is so it is the, this file is nothing but the conversion of your lex specification into the c file you can see this file okay this is your conversion yes you can see it uh, in the uh, detail so this is the lex.yy.c okay now then what you have to do next command compile the yak program so after this after compilation of this what which file will get generated y.tab.c and y.tab.h let's let's see so this two file must be get generated y dot tab dot c okay this is the y dot tab c this is the conversion of your react specification into the c program and y dot tab dot h understood so the, you can see this contain the information regarding your tokens which is which is being declared in the syntax analyzer okay then next command is what you have to combinely compile them with the gcc compiler so gcc gcc lex.yy.c y.tab.c so last time somebody asked me what why exactly the tab meaning is here it store the information in the tabular form that's why the tab here okay lex library and the yak libraries okay and then it after this it will generate which file dot slash a dot out you can see this file a dot out yes then your now this 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 a dot out this a dot out is nothing but your compiler has been generated with how many phases two phases so this is nothing but your compiler let's see then now that compiler you are running here dot slash a dot out and then it is asking you to enter the sentence now for example i enter the statement he is student now output that we must get here that should be the what simple sentence so here here you have to see this is nothing but simple sentence now let's see how your program process this how the lexical analyzer what exactly the lexical analyzer process uh, this statement he is a student okay so when you enter the he is a student 
now firstly the yy parse function will get call and then he will call the lexical analyzer so lexical analyzer when you when you uh, write the command lex uh, program name dot l so lexical analyzer now this he is a student this statement is being this statement is being scanned by this program how it is being scanned for example our statement is what he is a student okay now he now he comes under the category of what it comes under the category of pronoun or it can become occur under the category of what can i say the noun means now what is the pronoun and noun pronoun and noun can is nothing but the subject understood so he is what subject so first he he will be written by this lexical analyzer the, this will get match here okay this will get match here and here also he okay so he will get written now we can see the pronoun so what with which rule it get match this rule he is what pronoun and it is being written as what pronoun it is being written to whom syntax analyzer understood now next is what is now is will get match where here now is is what verb understood so verb now it is being written to the syntax analyzer written as a verb what is okay he is then lastly i said student now now student will match with which definition now student will match with this definition which this indicates anything come and come between the, uh, that is a to z, small a to z and the capital something which comes between this small a to z and the capital a to z that is being considered as what noun so noun being written here as a written noun so you can see what exactly this program is doing it is simply returning the recognizing the tokens and returning it to the syntax analyzer now we have we have understood it has recognized the tokens which tokens he as a noun on pronoun is 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 a verb and student as a noun and it is being returned to whom it is being returned to the syntax analyzer now here syntax analyzer will do what syntax analyzer will combine them together and they try to match with these rules that we have written here now he is a student now you can see here he is a student that is definitely will get match here he is a subject is is the verb and student is the object so this will get match here definitely uh, okay by following these rules also subject is noun that i said a verb and the object like this uh, uh, student is a object so object can be a now uh, student is the adjective understood so by following this rule it will get uh, you can see it it will get match here as a simple sentence understood and then simple sentence as a subject verb object that he is student will get get match here and then you will get the display as a printed it is a simple sentence understood this one now let's uh, let me give another example for example if i if i enter he is student and c is teacher now let's see you can see here output output we have got is what it is the compound sentence what it is the compound sentence now how this how this statement will get process he is student now this he is student and c is teacher now this all being tokenized by whom this all being tokenized by the lexical analyzer okay so and will uh, regarding the he is student and c is teacher now he is student already, already i told you so and will get match here and it will get written it will be get, it will get match here with this definition and it will be get written it will be get written as a conjunction she is a teacher now she she as a token will get match here get recognized as a pronoun is 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 also get uh, match here as a verb teacher teacher is a noun it will be get match here and uh, it will get returned to the syntax analyzer so uh, i hope you have got the uh, teacher now teacher it consists of the uh, t e a c h e r e r so this so that that will get match here understood it indicates what 
anything which any any uh, what you can say any combination of letters which come uh, between this small a to z and the capital a to z if anything is there that will be get definitely uh, recognized as a what noun understood so teacher and the student will get match here and then it will be written to the syntax analyzer so here he is a student he is a student is what he is a student is what simple sentence and and is what conjunction and again after the and after the and what we have entered c is a teacher so c is a teacher that is also another simple sentence so so that statement that you have entered is matching with this rule what simple sentence conjunction and the simple sentence and that's why here you are getting the output as what it is the compound sentence understood so then so if it gets match here he just he is a student is the simple sentence and is the conjunction and c is a teacher is the again simple sentence so compound sentence so this compound sentence again this uh, get match with the main rule okay and you will get display as a it is a compound sentence okay let me give you the one more example suppose if i write ram and sham are friend okay now what what output we should get here again the compound sentence so here let's you can see compound sentence now with which rule it match first ram and sham are friends that are being written as a tokens from here ram will get match here as a noun sham is also get match as a noun and is get match as a conjunction friends will also get a match as a noun and it will be written to the syntax analyzer here and then to which rule it will match can it be match with this rule ram and sham are friend no is it uh, get match here ram and sham now ram is simple the uh, subject it cannot be match here so it is get match here ram and and is the conjunction and after this simple sentence sham is friend so that will get match here ram and sham are friends okay so that is being recognized as the match with a, as a compound sentence so compound and so that's why the compound sentence can be a sentence and then it will get display as it is a compound sentence understood then let me give you the another example now we'll give you the invalid example let's see i just uh, uh, randomly enter some word here now you can see here we are getting the error invalid string as a syntax error because it is not matching with any rule that we have written here it is not matching with the any rule that we enter here and that's why if you enter the sentence or the uh, anything uh, any word suppose if you just try to enter the any sentence for example Uh, for example if you enter the sentence now you can see what sentence you have and ram sham so it will get it will not get match with any rules so that's why it will get display as a syntax error now same thing is happen when you compile your source program can be a c c++ java in compiler and if it is not get match with the grammatical rules which is being uh, written while designing of the compiler that time you will definitely get the error understood so this is this is nothing but the implementation of syntax analyzer to identify the type of sentence i hope all of you uh, uh, all of you got uh, what exactly this experiment is i i copy here the uh output also okay so you have to prepare the program uh, like this okay so this is this is our last experiment uh from the 
group b and uh, i think we have almost all the experiment that we are going to require for the final exam practical exam that already we have finished i hope all of you have must all of you uh, must have completed uh, the write up of uh, all practicals also and the theory also okay so that's it from the my side and if you have any query regarding this you can uh, put it in the uh, comment section okay and don't forget to uh, share this with your uh, share this uh, video to with your uh, friends from our college or to the other college also okay so uh, stay fit stay clean and uh, protect yourself and do study regularly